be honest, I think you have to first of all go uh, look at the conditions or preconditions for a successful airline, whether or not it's a national carrier, flag carrier, or a privately owned airline. I think it's generally accepted that Nigeria needs to have a viable aviation industry. Airlines are a significant, but not the only component in that industry. The question you ask yourself is, for example, why don't we have a viable domestic airline industry, but we're clearly very viable when it comes to international travel. So clearly there is a market. So why don't we have, as they say, a homegrown domestic and regional market? Now, is the solution for governments to go into the business of aviation or into the airline business, or is the solution for uh, uh, for governments to create an environment that would allow private sector investment and private sector management to come into the airline business? Okay. So I was reading comments made by the Minister of State for Aviation, and he says that this operation will cost. Uh, $300 million, and that's apart from an $18 million cost that's pre-set up. And the uh, plan is for it to cost $300 million over three years, which will later be recouped through some private sector. I don't know, it was, it was, it was, rather, it was rather vague at this point, but we'll expect more details later. And I'm just thinking about what you said, which is, do we have a viable domestic market that can support a local industry because there are issues. Our domestic airlines do struggle. So would you say that we need to sort out some of those local issues first before we even start thinking about a national carrier? Oh, certainly. I mean, I keep on saying that without regulatory uh, and policy consistency and coherence, it's very diff difficult for anybody to do uh, business. What you want is um, a playing field that will give you a fairly predictable um, outcome. Right now, I think a lot of the misconceptions and the misunderstandings around the national carrier issue is, um, I, will, I dare say, I will suggest the lack of information being given out about the process, about the selection, and about the sorts of outcomes. I, I think, for example, that uh, domestic carriers will benefit from a favorable uh, customs duty regime a tariff regime that's open to every airline, okay? I think they will, be, they will benefit from a reduction in certain user charges at the airports and things like that. I'm sure they will benefit from uh, the provision of uh, the credit enhancement facilities. I've never believed in intervention funds. Okay. That the government puts down money and you give money to certain people. No, but create an environment where for example, one of the biggest components, apart from fuel, and, uh, is insurance in the aviation industry. Now, if Nigerian insurance is one of the highest in the world for the same type of aircraft, now, if government has policies that will give or aid in creating a lower insurance base for every airline, then you take out a significant cut in that regard. So, for me, I think... Uh, to develop the industry and not just an airline, we need to go back and look at all those things that are impediments to doing business. I'm very happy that the current government is trying to do things to ease business, yeah. but those policies have to work together so that you do not have the sort of debacle you have, for example, with the gifts of an arrival, uh, where what is supposed to be a good thing turns into, turns a, into a, nightmare. a nightmare. Exactly. Okay, and I just want to move on slightly because um, I'm sure followers of Nigerian aviations, Nigeria's aviation sector will know that the country effectively already owns one airline, maybe more, uh, AREC, through Amcon because of its debts. Do you think that this new carrier will be um, a restructured version of AREC Air? I honestly do not know the thinking of government. But what I do know is that if government, and I mean here the federal government, truly opens up the regulatory space, private sector will invest. Only last week, I was uh, Alex posted um, 
the project finance uh, conference, a PPP conference, and the um, director general, acting director general of the ICRC was one of our guests. Um, only yesterday or so he gave the certificate of compliance, or is it today that he's given the certificate of compliance to the Minister of State regarding the national carrier. But the point that emerged from that conference and previous conferences is that really money is smart. Whether it's at low interest rates or high interest rates, nobody's going to put their money where they think, where they don't know what to happen to it. And aviation is a very tricky business, so you're talking of very savvy investors. I do not think the state should be funding aviation, personally. I do not think it will work. Uh, whether it's 100 million, whether it's 200 million, or it's 300 million, I don't think it will work. What I believe is that the state should create an environment where you now have an unlimited pool of money that can come in. You then have competition. When you have competition and you have money flowing into the, the different aspects, then you get the outcomes that they are predicting. One of the, 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 the trend has been for government to hands up. Now, when you now say government is going to put in money, is that airline going to get preferential treatment relating to routes, relating to slots, relating to taxation? If that's what's going to happen, then I think that's a disaster. I think what should happen is that Anybody who wants to compete in the space should be given criteria so that you don't have mushroom one, two, or three. You can decide at what level. Right now, Nigeria will benefit from local point-to-point -point services or maybe through Abuja, Lagos, Abuja, Medigui, uh, Galingo, um, Yola. There are lots of places that are underserved. All they require are maybe two, three, four, five flights a, a, a week. And they will be viable. An airline can just do that and focus on that segment of the market. Other airlines can say, look, we're going to bring in, we're going to be a feeder airline. We're going to bring people from all over Nigeria, dump them in Lagos or uh, Abuja for them to get onto an international flight, which could be uh, an international carrier or a Nigerian carrier. But the point I'm making is that everybody should have a choice as to the business model. And we shouldn't now, as a state, be trying to determine or encouraging a particular model. If the state wants to invest in private businesses through, for example, the sovereign wealth fund, that's a different matter entirely. But I think uh, seriously that we should benefit the industry as a whole uh, if the environment in which airlines work is opened up. 